Hey, second grade, this is Mrs. Alar right here behind the camera. And I would like to show you a game that you can play today for your math time. So the math time game is called Pick Three. So this looks similar to a lot of the games that we've played in school, but it's a little bit different. So I want to make sure you pay attention. I am going to show you what you need to do to play the game. And then after I show you how to play the game, you could do the same exact thing at home with the materials that you have. So step one, you need to create number cards. These are made out of index cards. You can make them out of paper. You can make them out of index cards. You can make them out of construction paper. All you need to do is cut them out so they're in little rectangles. You need to make the number nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. So you need to make number zero through nine. Once you made these cards, you could start the game. So step one is to create the number cards. Step two is to pick three cards. So you flip them over, you shuffle them up, and you say, okay, I'm gonna pick this card, this card, and this card. So I picked three cards. I set the rest of them aside. I flip over my cards and I see that I picked a five. So I write a five in the first box. I see that I picked a four. So I put a four in the next box. And then I also see that I picked a two. Now, what we do once we picked our cards is we put them to the side. Now we need to focus on the bottom question. The first question says, what is the largest three-digit number you can create with the three digits you picked? So I'm looking for the largest. So I know when I think of the largest, I have to think of the bigger number. So my first number in my hundreds place needs to be the biggest number. What is my biggest number? Five, four, or two? Hmm, well I know five is my biggest number, so that's the number I'll put in my hundreds place. Now what's the next biggest number? Is four bigger or is two bigger? I know four is bigger, so I need to put a four in my tens place. And then last but not least, two is my smallest number, so I put a two in the ones place. Now I've done the first question, now I move on to my second question. The second question says, what is 100 more than the largest three digit number? So I created the largest three-digit number, three number over here, 542. Now I have to think, what is 100 more than 542? Well, I know 100 more than 542 is 642. Now I move over to my next question. This question is asking, what is the smallest three-digit number I could create with these three digits? So I have to first start with my hundreds place as my smallest number. So I'm looking at my three options. Is five, four, or two smaller? Well, I know my smallest number is two. So I put that number in my hundreds place. Now I'm looking for the next smallest number. Is five smaller or is four smaller? Well, I know that four is smaller than five, so I put it in my tens place. And last but not least, I'm looking at my last number is five, so that is going to be in my ones place. So the smallest three-digit number that I can create is 245. Now I move on to my last question. What is 100 less than the smallest three-digit number? Well, I know that my smallest three-digit number is 245, so I have to think, what is 100 less than 245? I know that I'm thinking of my hundreds place. I know that it's 145. So this is something that you could do at home. You could create this recording sheet in your notebook and you could write down the answers to the questions just like I did here. And you could do this over and over again using different three digit numbers. I hope this was fun and helpful and enjoy playing at your house.